Today, I'm going to be reviewing this Lavoie Core 300. Now, this unit was first released back in 2019, so it's nearly five years old, but since then, it's been a major bestseller. Now, if you don't want to watch my full review, here are the five things that I love about this unit and the five things I don't really. First, I love its price. It's less than $99, yet it has a KDAR of 145 CFM, and in our in-house performance test, it managed to clean our room of all PM1 in 40 minutes. Number two, it uses pelleted activated charcoal in its filter. Now, most budget air purifiers use the impregnated nylon fabric, which just isn't as good. The other thing I like, I love how small it is. It's small enough to use in any type of room, you can hide it away, it doesn't take up too much floor space. Now, at its highest fan speed, this will only hit 50 decibels, which means it doesn't generate too much noise. Now, finally, the thing I really love is that because this device has been a, a major bestseller for years, there are a ton of generic filters out there. This brings the filter cost down to $15 per unit or $30 per year. Now, what I don't really like. The first thing I don't like is the design. It's a little janky. So if you move it the wrong way, the filter can fall out. Now the filter itself has a pre-filter, but it's not removable. So you need to get in there with a the vacuum cleaner to clean it. It also doesn't have any auto mode or app support. Now, five years ago, this was a great unit for bang for your buck, but now there's a couple of newer options out there that offer better performance, especially if you're willing to spend a bit more. It also might not be HEPA H13. Dyson made a complaint to the Better Business Bureau last year, and now Lavoie has removed any mention of HEPA from their marketing material. Five years ago, when this Lavoie Core 300 came out, its design was completely unique. But since then, and due to its popularity, there is a number of copycats, so it doesn't look as unique as it once did. But the fact that there are so many other companies copying this design just shows you how effective it was. Now, since then, there's a number of devices from WinX and Blue Air that I'll be honest, they look a little nicer aesthetically, but there are still some options in black and gray that are available, so you can choose which one makes sense for you. It's a really easy air purifier to live with due to its size. It can be used in any sort of small room or even hidden away. So that's one of the things that's great about it. Now, the control panel, you have a couple of different options. You have three fan speed options, a, a child lock to stop children messing around with it, an indicator to tell you when the filter needs changing. You can switch the lights off, which is great if you're using it in a bedroom. And it also has four options for timers, two hours, four hours, six hours, and eight hours. You can also enable a sleep mode, which is a slightly reduced fan speed with no lights. Uh, and obviously you can switch it off and on. Now, unlike its older upgraded brother, the Lavoit Core 300 doesn't have an air quality sensor or any app support whatsoever. Now, Lavoit sends all of its units to the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers for a KDAR test. KDAR is a test in a lab that sees how well it can remove dust, pollen, and smoke. Now, considering its price, the Lavoit Core 300 had some great KDAR scores. It had a KDAR score of 141 CFM for smoke, 140 CFM for dust, and 145 CFM for pollen. Now, the one less good thing from its KDAR test was the amount of energy it used. So according to them, it used 264 kilowatt hours per year in energy, which is double the amount we saw with its newer upgraded brother, the Lavoie Core 300S. Now from this, we can assume that the Core 300 uses an older style motor, which uses more energy to clean the same amount of air. Now the filters for the Lavoit Core 300 used to be marketed as true HEPA. Now on their website, there is no mention of HEPA and this is a little worrying. But you shouldn't be worried too much as the AHM KDAR data shows and our own in-house performance data, this is still an effective device at removing particles from the air. Now there are three different filters you can choose for the Lavoit Core 300, pet allergies, smoke and toxin absorber. And the main difference between them is the amount of activated charcoal. So for the standard filter that you get with your unit, it has up to 50 grams of activated carbon. And with the toxin, the pet and the smoke options, they go up to 90 grams. Now bear in mind that 90 grams of charcoal is still not a massive amount, especially when compared to the likes of IQ Air and Austin who measure the amount of activated carbon they have in pounds. 
but it's still good to have a choice of getting more carbon if you have an issue with odors or gases that this standard filter won't work, for, work with. Now, the big design flaw with the Lavoit Core 300 is in its base. Now, as you notice at the base of it, we have these feet here that are attached to the same panel that you remove to remove the filters. This means that when you turn the device, when you're cleaning, you can easily remove the filter. Now this can be super annoying, especially when it's a really dirty filter and you're trying to clean the place and it gets everywhere. So Lavoie, if you're listening, change it. Now, the other thing to notice is that when you buy your Lavoie Core 300, it will come in a plastic bag like this. This is normal for all air purifier manufacturers because they don't want the filter to start working until you've taken it out in your home. So be sure to remove it from the plastic bag so it will help to clean the air. Whilst we use performance data from manufacturers and the KDAR lab report from the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers to identify units, we always want to test for ourselves how well an air purifier removes particles from the air. Now we tested the Lavoie Core 300 in the same room that we've tested more than 50 different air purifiers. And this allows us to compare units doing the same job in the same room. Now our test involves lighting intense smoke and then using this purple air indoor center to continually track the levels of PM1, PM2.5 and PM10. And we can also track the levels of VOC with our optional Bosch gas sensor. In our intense smoke test, the Lavoie Core 300 managed to clean all PM1 pollutants in 40 minutes. Now, considering its $99 price point, this is still impressive. It was three minutes quicker than the $129 Medify 25. It was four minutes quicker than the $169 Akasai Air Max 10L Pro. And it was 21 minutes quicker than its smaller brother, the Core 200S. Now, there was still two units that perform better at this under $99 price point. The Winex A230, which managed to clean our test room in 36 minutes, and the Titronix AP003, which managed the same job in 29 minutes. Now, considering it's been five years since the release of this air purifier, it still has an impressive ratio of dollar spend to air cleaning performance. Another important feature of an air purifier is the amount of sound generated. It's no good being great at air cleaning, but sounds like a jet engine because it's unlikely to be used. So it's something we keep an eye on. Now, according to Lavoie, the Core 300 makes the maximum sound of 50 decibels. But as we said before, we don't just rely on manufacturer's claims. So we got out our sound meter and we tracked the level of sound from three feet away. In our report, we saw that it made sound between 49.7 and 50.3 decibels, which is in line with what Lavoie said. Now at its lowest speed, it only hits 24 decibels, but for such a small device, it's unlikely to be able to clean enough air to be useful at that lower fan speed. So just bear that in mind. Now at speed two, it hit 44.7 decibels, which is under 45 decibels, which is great for those people wanting to use it in say a home office, and it won't generate too much noise to get in the way of thinking. Now sound wise, the Core 300 did very well against other units such as the Winex A230 and the Shark HB102. At its highest fan speed, it was lower than both of them. All mechanical filters that use HEPA or activated charcoal will need replacing at some point. These filters work by absorbing the particles and gases inside the filter and over time they absorb so much that they become ineffective. Now Lavoie uses a filter that has an integrated HEPA and activated charcoal so you only need to replace one filter each time. But like many small air purifier manufacturers, Lavoit recommends that you change the filter on the Lavoit Core 300 every six months. So you're going to need two of these filters. Genuine filters for Lavoit cost between $27 for one unit for the standard, up to $37 for the filters that use more carbon. Now, if we compare that to this filter from Puro Air, which really looks kind of similar, they are charging $54.99. 
so Lavoit is being really fair with the price. There is also the option to go for generic filters and considering that Lavoit's filters are not approved HEPA, I don't see why not. And this will bring the cost down to $15 per unit or $30 per year. But if you choose to go with genuine filters, you're looking at a filter cost of $54.99 per year. It's not just filter costs that add to the running cost of using an air purifier. You also need to be aware of energy costs. To run an air purifier like this, you'll want to run it continuously so energy costs can quickly add up. Now to see how much energy is used, we used an energy meter and set our Lavoit Core 300 to its highest fan speed. Now we found at its highest fan speed, it pulled 36 watts. This equates to $27.66 extra on your energy bill. Now, when we compared this to the upgraded, newer Lavoit Core 300S, it only pulled 26 watts at its highest fan speed. This equates to $27.66 on, on the bill. Now, the total running cost of using a Lavoit Core 300S is $91.66 if you choose the genuine filters. Now, if you go down the generic filter route, you can bring this down to $66.76. Now this compares really favorably to other small air purifiers. For example, the Lavoit Core 200S, which is the smaller version of this, still costs $82.46. The Winex A230 costs $95. The Okasawa Air Max 10L is $166. And the Molecule Air Mini costs a whopping $244 a year. Since it arrived in 2019, the Lavoit Core 300 has been a game changer. Previous to this, any sub $100 air purifier was basically useless and hard to recommend. Now the Lavoit Core 300 changed all this with a small air purifier that was still capable of keeping a small room free of particulates. It also helped that it wasn't too loud and had some of the fairest running costs in the industry. Now we're five years down the line and I would say that most people are probably better paying a little extra to get the newer upgraded Core 300S. Mainly to get access to the new motor which means lower energy costs long term. But you also get access to the app and the auto mode. But for most people I would say try and increase that budget a little bit. Take it up to $180 to get access to the Lavoit Vital 200S or the Winx 5502. In exchange for this extra money, you're going to get access to a washable pre-filter, much more activated carbon, and more importantly, much better air cleaning power. To give you an example, the Vital 200S cleaned our test room of PM1 in 22 minutes, and the Winx 5502 cleaned our test room in 19 minutes. But if you only have $99 to spare, this is still one of the best air purifiers on the market. If you want to see all our data from the review for the Lavoit Core 300, be sure to check out our full review. Go to Google, search for the Lavoit Core 300 review plus House Fresh. And if you have a Lavoit Core 300 or have any questions about what you've seen today, let me know in the comments below.